Welcome back, foodie lovers. Here's the next installment of my Holy Grail series. I'll link my gulp version up above. I really try to be ruthless in selecting only one brush from each category, but I had a difficult time doing so. To recap on my skin type, shape preferences, and squirrel hair info, I have sensitive combination skin and my skin has become drier this year compared to the previous years. I have an immense love for round shapes, but also appreciate flat shapes. I particularly enjoy the blending power round shapes have and how they feel when swirled around the face. Scroll hairs are recommended for dry skin and not recommended to be used with creams or liquids. While the foodie companies recommend and don't recommend certain things, each individual has different needs and preferences. Either adhering or not adhering to the recommendations is totally up to you, but do keep in mind that scroll hairs are delicate and prone to breaking, especially if used with or on top of creams and liquids. If you enjoy my content, please like and subscribe and select all from the bell notification to be notified each time I upload a new video. The Coyuto White Canadian Squirrel S Powder Brush is my favorite for loose setting powder. It's also known as the M Powder Brush. I generally try not to include limited edition fude in these types of videos to give everyone a chance to buy them, but I just had to include one because it's my absolute favorite. It's a wide fan shaped brush with a pinched oval ferrule. It's dense with medium flexibility and strong elasticity. White Canadian Squirrel is my favorite type of Canadian Squirrel because it's the softest, looks the nicest in my opinion, and the hairs are resilient, but the tips don't become curly like the Canadian Squirrel hairs do on the face brushes. The hairs of this brush are soft and luxurious feeling. It's rare that I fall in love with powder brushes with oval ferrules since I much prefer round shapes, but this one does something all my other Squirrel powder brushes don't do. It is surprisingly spectacular with the Makeup Forever Loose powder that I have. It applies the powder like a finishing powder with a gorgeous sheen. On the other hand, it applies finishing powders like Hourglasses all right, so I don't use it for finishing powder. It's reversed. It applies setting powder like a finishing powder and applies finishing powder like a setting powder. I highly recommend this if you can find it somehow or if Koyuto restocks someday. You need this in your life if you love Squirrel Fude. Since you can't get it anymore, I'd like to recommend some brushes you can still purchase that I think a lot of people would like. The Kyuredo Face is an outstanding brush that has perfect resistance and flexibility in my opinion. Fudi Japan is now selling his version of this brush and I would have purchased his version instead if it was out when I was making my purchase. The Chikuhodo KZ1 feels wonderful swept across the face and is also lovely for setting powder. Both brushes apply a light layer of setting powder and don't accentuate dry areas. The Surat Highlight Brush is my favorite for under eye setting. It's a round candlestick, medium-sized gray scroll brush. I like this more than the Wayne Goss 2 and the Hakuhodo G5521. It's soft enough for the under eye area for sensitive skin. It applies a thin layer of powder, but I feel like it applies less in the lines compared to the other two that I just mentioned. For highlight, I love the Chikuhodo KZ3. It's a round candlestick, large cousin scroll brush. I like intense cheekbone highlight, which means the brushes typically need to be dense. It's dense, but also feels fluffy and is the best scroll highlight brush I've come across to date. It blows all the other ones I've tried out of the water. It applies highlight beautifully and intensely, similar to a goat brush. It also maintains the metallic finish of the highlight, which is what I prefer. It might be too large for those who prefer targeted highlight and people with small faces. Of course, it'll be more compact if you put it in a brush guard. The Surat Highlight Brush comes in second place. It has a dense head that's smaller than the KZ3. It applies in a more targeted area and also intensely, but the KZ3 applies stronger. For blush, I have the Chikohoto RC2 and Z4. I love both brushes, so I couldn't decide between the two. They're both made out of gray squirrel. The RC2 is a round shape, while the Z4 is a flat shape with a pinched oval ferrule. The RC2 is able to grab and deposit more pigment than the Z4 since the head is denser. It also applies in a larger surface area because you buff with it and the resistance level of the hairs is not high when you press it against your cheeks. If you prefer targeted blush, then I'd recommend the Z4 over the RC2. RC2 is your girl for blush in a rush, while the Z4 is more for the buildable natural looks. For finishing, the Chikoto Z1 is the tried and true love of my life. I've tried many scroll brushes for finishing and still always go back to this one. It's a round brush with a dense head, perfect flexibility and grabs a lot of product at once. The round shape buffs the finishing powder in and gives a final blend of all the powders without disturbing the base. I think it's the best C-series brush for round shape lovers. If you're not into round shapes, then the Z9 or the MK2 would probably work better for you. I hope you enjoyed this short and sweet overview of my Holy Grail Squirrel Face brushes. I'd love to know what yours are in the comments section below. 
Thank you for watching and stay safe and healthy. Bye.